Oh, hey. This is the most versatile build plate adhesive in the world, and I'm about to tell you exactly why. It's been a huge development process, the results have surprised us all, and it's still the only bed adhesive that works with virtually all materials. Sounds like a tall claim, right? Well, it is. So let me tell you the story of how we created it, what that really took, and what we ended up making. So what led Vision Miner to create nanopolymer adhesive? We really started with a focus on high temperature materials like peak, Ultem, PPSU, et cetera. And back in 2017, we were still using glue sticks. There were a lot of different techniques, but the one that worked the best was taking frosted glass and glue stick and baking a layer and then scraping it flat with a razor blade and then doing that three times. And it made a huge mess and it, made, it just took a long time. It was like a half hour for every plate. And frankly, it just didn't work that well. About 50% of the time, it failed. So one day, Pat walked me in, saw me working in the shop, covered in glue dust, and he said, screw this, we're gonna go make our own glue. I'm gonna find the scientists, we're gonna do it, it's gonna work, and we're gonna, let's make this happen, because this is not going to work. And so we did. We went out and hired a material scientist, and two months later, we had a working first iteration. Now, we actually spent another nine months to a year perfecting it, and you know, even though we got it working in the first two months, but it still sometimes broke glass and it didn't quite grip well enough in certain little geometries. So we kept going until it was the best, the very, very best that we could make it. So at some point we tried it on our Ultimaker 2 Plus with PLA and found out it worked really well. We ended up testing it with a bunch more materials and it literally worked with nearly everything. And at that point we knew we had to make it available for other people because it just worked so dang well. So now you can go to dealers around the world and get a bottle just like this, even some retail stores. A little bit about how it's made. We make it ourselves in our own R&D lab, 100% right here in the USA. It's made of non-toxic compounds with an isopropyl alcohol base, and it works on glass build plates, PEI, carbon fiber, BuildTech, FR4, Gerolite, and just about everything else that we've tried, as long as it's a heated bed. Now you'll need to print a brim or a raft. Again, those are things of the past using this stuff. And it's still really the only thing that works great for high temperature materials like Peak and Ultim. We tried the one other solution on the market and I was actually pretty disappointed because it, it didn't work even half as well. So what did we end up with? We've got a bed adhesive designed for Peak, PEI and high temperature materials. It's no mess, it cleans off easily with water. It's got better adhesion and grip than other solution, and it works on a ton of different surfaces. And it's super, super easy to clean and reapply. Now it also works with normal temperature materials like ABS, ASA, PLA, nylon, as long as it's got a heated bed. And the only thing that it doesn't work with that we found is polypropylene and POM. And you shouldn't even print POM, there's better solutions for that. Now it's totally made from safe, non-toxic, organic compounds, which is a huge thing. Now, there are some drawbacks. It's a little bit expensive for low temp hobbyist style printing, but it's really not when you look at the comparisons of the price and what you get and how much output you get per bottle. We got more coming on that soon. Now, you really do see cost savings when printing in multiple materials, like huge. It's perfect for print services. If you're switching from ABS to nylon back to PLA, you've got one bottle that does it all. We have extremely good customer satisfaction. You can just check out our Google and Facebook reviews for that. Uh, I'm blown away every time. Every day we're getting new reviews. It's absolutely nuts. Now this one model will get you over 300 coatings on something like a Prusa Mini with a seven by seven build plate. Now, as a note, there are a couple caveats with ABS and PETG on glass. Now this is well known even without any adhesives. Glue stick will do this, no glue stick will do this. Uh, ABS contracts super quickly when it cools. Because of this, it'll chip and chunk or break glass if you're doing a really big, thick part. It just happens. We recommend using cap and tape, PEI, or even one of our carbon fiber plates as a protective surface when you're printing ABS, and PETG can even do it too. We've seen PLA do it, guys, with no glue at all. So uh, just be careful of that. It is something to keep in mind. 
Now there is a really easy way to avoid breaking glass and almost every time I've seen, it's just having a perfect first layer offset. If you're too close, you're smashing it into the plate, it's really digging in, and it's well documented that that in multiple materials will break glass. It's all over the community, it's all over forums, just Google it. Uh, you end up with broken, chipped, or chunked build plates it's really when your first layer is smashed into the plate. A lot of people now actually put the Z-offset extra close to keep the filament stuck down. Oh, you smash it in, it'll stick better, but that's because they don't have the right solution or anything like this. So it's totally unnecessary, and you want to have proper leveling. Now, the other caveat is that high temperature materials still have to be removed very quickly. High performance polymers, I mean, they cool way faster the glass from a higher temperature, and that generally does cause chipping. We haven't found any way around this except for making our carbon fiber plates, and then you can let it cool down on the plate. No big deal. Otherwise, get it off there as fast as you can. This was an issue that was happening before we ever made this product, too, so it's not a function of this, it's actually just a function of science. Anyway, we've got a couple other questions we're gonna answer. What does it work with? What materials? I mean, let's go down the list. PLA, ASA, nylon, polycarb, ABS, uh, PEAK, Ultim, PPSU, PPS, uh, PSU, and pretty much everything we sell. With the low temps, PLA and PETG, I've actually gotten 50 prints on glass with no reapplication or cleaning at all. Oh, uh, it completely blew my mind. That's one of the reasons this stuff is so good for consumer machines and your wallet, because on those materials, you won't really have to recode it. The only two materials it doesn't work with is polypropylene and POM, Delrin, Acetol. And frankly, you really shouldn't print that either. HTN is a much better alternative. It's difficult. So what kind of build surfaces does it work on? We've got borosilicate glass, ceramic glass, most carbon fibers we've tried, a PEI, polyether imid, uh, build tack, captain tape, PCB board, FR4 board, fiberglass, some grades of aluminum and spring steel, like straight on the steel. Uh, not all grades, it does depend on the carbon content and sort of the way this was designed, but most everything we've tried, it's worked great. Now, if you are doing aluminum or steel and it doesn't work, then you can apply this hot and have it boil and it makes a totally different texture. And that's actually kind of a cool secret trick uh, that we'll release a video on in the future. Now, where can you buy it? It's available worldwide. We've got dealers all across North America, South America, Australia, Europe, and Asia. So no matter where you are, check out our website for our full dealer list at visionminer.com resellers. No, wait, 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 it's 50 bucks. Well, what, what makes this actually worth 50 bucks? So at 49 cents a milliliter, 100 milliliter bottle, 49 bucks. With this one bottle, you get 300 coatings on a seven by seven build plate. It works with a ton of different materials and surfaces. It's good for small parts, big parts, high temp, low temp, you name it. And we've got a satisfaction guarantee, and we mean that. So if it doesn't work with you and you're not happy, call us. All right, so what did I not cover in this video? I don't know. Let me know what you want to know in the comments down below. <laughs> if you have more questions, we'll respond right there or even make an entire video on the topic you suggest. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this. We really love seeing your feedback. Have a positive rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one.